You're going to start the prayer or I'm going to start it? <laughs> Welcome back to Mikama Lounge, guys. Yes, que mi cama La ti. A tu. Esta comida que vamos a comer. Comer, ok. Cierro los ojos y pienso. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Me voy al that was a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> that song, so cheesy, so corny, but, but it made hits. <laughs> it made hits. You so, like me, Kamalanch. It looks like you, uh, you brought uh, work home again. <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on here? I brought home, home. Ooh, I like that. You said that pretty fast. And what does home entail? Home, a little uh, Spanish cooked meal. Mm, you cooked it yourself. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not, it's, it's, it's just enough. It's just enough, okay. Plus, that's some white rice, mm. some pollo al horno. Mm. Don't forget the little ajito that's there. That's, okay, that okay. should be hidden. You bring enough for the both of us? Bueno. <laughs> Ese yo creo que es mío. All right. And beans. Oof. I know you're going through the no nut November. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't going through the no nut November. I like my nuts. there's a lot of nuts. <laughs> beans. Amarillos. Okay, patano maduros, you can never go wrong. Maduros. And aguacate, que son nunca se falta. I might have forgotten the salt somewhere else, okay. but do, I don't do, know. Do you, did you get to see when they cut the aguacate? Was it from the big avocados or the Mexican small ones? To be honest, while they were preparing, no, no, while I was preparing my food, <laughs> <laughs> I went for beer. Okay. Yeah, I went for a presidente. <laughs> And and then I came back and it was already I picked it up and okay okay and now here we are. Which avocados or aguacate whatever? Which ones do you prefer? The big the big ones or the little small ones to make guac and shit? It depends. Uh, if I'm cutting it myself, maybe the smaller ones because they're like more my you know like mama duro and you can cut it more easy. Okay easy okay. The cut and you can use that for like a hair mask. Full. Or to make guac. guac. I think that's you use the small ones the small to make guac. Yeah. I don't think you could. The 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 big ones will like leave a different texture or color. I'm yeah. not, I'm not sure. No no no. That's exactly <laughs> right. Like if you used to like smash that right now, it wouldn't be the same. It yeah. has to be nice. It would turn like brown and mushy. Okay. No, the little one would turn brown and mushy because it's mama duro. Anyways, <laughs> I think this is the bigger one. Okay. <laughs> Um, I was going for black beans, but they only had red or white. Mm, I you, was not doing no white beans. Once you go black, white beans. Yeah, but it's like Oh, like I know what you're talking about. It's like a sopao type shit. I don't know, but I was not going for that. <laughs> okay, red beans. You can never go wrong with red beans. Black, black are you know my favorites. Once, once you, you go, go black, black, you don't go back. <laughs> um, what's your preference as far as plantains? Te gusta mango? Te gusta totone? Te gusta maduro? Te gusta I like all that shit. What's your favorite? I don't. Like, if I'm going to eat a mango, it can be a mango with platano mango. Even though it tastes good, but, yeah, but, yeah. but it has to be the green plant, regular green so plantain. So, with a meal like this, it would be platano maduro. Yeah, for sure. Okay, 100. Okay, okay. <laughs> you ever had, um, and I was thinking this while I was walking by La Fruteria, mm -hmm. un guineo with your meal? A guineo, yeah, a lot of people, what, like, like a banana, a banana. A okay, banana. no, because there's also guineo, guineo, guineo too, yeah, yeah. a banana, yeah, I can't eat a banana with my meal, I can't eat, like, I don't like bananas, oh, okay. but like, I see people eat them with like, their cereal or their arroz con habichuela, like, not me, I can't, I could even though it probably tastes like plátano maduro, but I just never had the courage to actually eat a banana with my, my rice and My grandma would always put it in my plate, and that would just kind of top it off, like, if I would eat this and I would be like 80% full, that's 20%. That's when the banana came in. Okay, so you like that. You like the banana. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, pollo al horno. I, I usually don't go for turkey on Thanksgiving, do you? <laughs> nah. I don't think the Spanish community really goes for turkey, el pavo. No, they like, cook. Like they, in my family, they cook it. Oh, I they just, cook their pavo? Yeah, they cook It's usually like pelni and pavo fucking and chicken. Pavo and chicken, but I don't know. No, no pavo. It's too, it's too dry for me. Or ham. You like ham? <laughs> I like ham. No. With the honey glaze. Mm. And then sometimes they cut the pineapples like little circles. That tastes good. No? No. Ham, I could <laughs> do in cold cut sandwiches, go to the beach, eat it with some Doritos inside. Mm. Whole ham is just like. It tastes good. They cook it nice and, and it, it has to be like, you know, the glazed honey part that makes it. I think, I think you like it. it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nah, I don't know how to make ham. I would like to learn how to make ham though. Okay. 
Okay. So when we got, when we're gonna start eating. <laughs> <laughs> Even black, you know, white rice. You can never go okay. wrong with white rice. Okay. Are you, are you are you even hungry? To be honest. Look at these plates. There's a turkey right here. We're not gonna eat you. <laughs> but we're gonna eat you. <laughs> now, do you like to serve yourself, or do you like other people to serve you? That is a good question that I was also thinking. I was gonna ask you. Like, do you like buffet style? Like, you like to go up and get your food, or you like to like they bring you the food already, everything there. I I, I don't mind buffet style. I was going to, you asked me. I, I like both. I like. Both. It just depends what kind of mood I'm in. I like both. Well, it depends on what what they're serving, you know. Like, if it's something I really, 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 really like, I'm probably gonna want to go myself just so I could all the right pieces. Mm -hmm. All the right pieces. Well, but, but maybe if it's something like basic like this, I don't mind if you brought it to me on a plate, to be honest. But we could serve ourselves, if that's what you was asking. No, because, um... <laughs> oh, see, serve me, nigga. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, when when I'm at, like, my grandparents' house, mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, serve oh, of course, me, please. Yeah. Like, Mom always got to serve. Mom, grandma, yeah, aunt, they, they got to serve you. They got to serve you. <laughs> yeah. Well, but since hey. I'm not your mom or your grandmas or your aunt, you're going to serve your soup. Ah, fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. I don't want to eat that shit. You this shit, Zombie. <laughs> you like playing Frisbee? Frisbee's fire. Frisbee is... I haven't, I haven't played Frisbee in a while. So, so how are we going to eat like medieval times with our hands and shit? <laughs> no, bev, no utensils. <laughs> now I'm going to just open everything up. Can I open my utensil? Don't forget utensil. <laughs> feel like, feel like we're, in, we're in school. You remember like eating like this in school? And like they would dead, they would dead ass ration shit like the pizzas. Remember? Ahora, this is an important, 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 important question. <laughs> okay. Because as much as my grandmother serves me, she always gets it wrong. Mm. Are you a fork eater or a spoon uh, eater? <laughs> I'm a spoon eater. I know a lot of fork eaters, but I gotta eat with the spoon. The spoon. You grab. You always grab more with the spoon. Okay. Like. Your mouth is a circle, you know? So it makes sense to grab something with a circle. You know? You guys agree. But I'm guessing I'm guessing you eat with a fork, you weirdo. I do. Why? I'll leave my spoon. Was that beans? Were you always fed like this as a youngin? So you know you just got used to the no. fork or that's something that you you chose. I think I picked it up like recently, like I don't know, it's just like Do you do you, how you like your utensils? You like them big or small? Big. Like using, I like, I like using small utensils. Are you a slow eater? Like well, we're eat. about to find out. <laughs> we're about to find out. Go ahead, lady, right. ladies first. Well, mm. I did cheat and I ate before this. Ah, oh, come on. But that ain't gonna stop me from eating now. Right, I'm about, I'm about to ask you. You gonna be a real one right here? You ready? Uh -huh. Do you put your beans on the hey. side or on top of the rice? Depends on the beans, but it's probably on the side. <laughs> you know what? I was going to say something, but sometimes I like my beans on the side. Okay. And sometimes, sometimes I like it on top. You feel me? Now, since you requested the pollo al horno, mm. I'm going to let you do first dibs on which one you like. All right? Only fair enough, right? Okay, okay, okay. So do you know what your family is doing for this? Thanksgiving. For thing for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. uh, I think we're spending it in my house, I believe. Cool. Y a ti te toca llevar largo por no. something. Me toca comer, that's hey. it. <laughs> I'ma eat. I'm just there to eat. Nothing more, nothing more. Yeah. Do you cook for Thanksgiving? Where are you gonna spend Thanksgiving? We're still trying to figure that out. Um, I think we might do it in my crib, actually. Okay, okay. Where's the tapa for that? Uh, I'll put it on now. So now let me ask you. You a grano or a liquid person? <laughs> nah, if, you know, if you watch previous episodes before, you know you that I love I love me some grano. So you, do you know how to use a knife when you eat? Now when no? I go out, put the whole steak in my mouth. I, yo, like, that was I, I, no, like, I could, you're going to put all this in there, but I'm not, like, professional. Would you consider yourself a, carn a carnivore? Tu come carne. A ti te gusta comer carne. A mí me gusta carne, but I could I could survive without carne. Like I could if I if I like really did my research and like knew what to eat, 
I can't even cut this. In order to like, you know, to have all the right nutrients Mm -hmm. without the meat, I'll do it. Okay. And do you do you like? I can have a meal without like meat because I get meat. No, let me stop. (laughs) Do you like the skin? I love the skin. Bruh. You don't. No, I love the skin, oh. but I, I clearly can't fucking break chicken right now. Hey, look at the fuego. Wait, don't forget the onion. That's the best part. Oh, this shit is crack. You know, it's it's so good mm-hmm. that they had a sign written, Ete, La Vainita de Ajo, 75 cents. Because people really go and they like request, so like, let deep, me get, bro. you know, it's kind of like McDonald's with the sauces. They, yeah, they be, <laughs> yeah, I'm making hey. a home. <laughs> I went to uh I went to McDonald's one time during those you know when you're on the road and stuff on the road. and you get gas yeah. and you make those pit stops whatever whatever mm-hmm. yeah check if you could cut chicken better than I can and the McDonald's was a little bit expensive more expensive than you know in your Bronx in New York City and yeah it was a little bit expensive and I wanted more sauce. And the late woman looked at me and said that she already gave me sauce that uh, I had to pay if I wanted more. Oh. And like that, obviously, I, like I know, I know that, like niggas be doing that, but that hasn't happened to me in a long time. And I was just caught by surprise, and it's like, bruh, it's not coming out of your pocket. Like so your boss is not even there watching you. Like you dead ass not about to give me a sauce that I'm requesting. Cause you already gave me one. Like, isn't isn't the customer always right? Hey, they, they, they stopped believing that a long time ago. It should make no sense to me. So now, are you one of those people? You took my fork, bro. No. You took my fork, bro. So I left you the spoon for the beans, and you used your spoon. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. What was I asking you? You said a long time. Like, I'm what? okay with this meat. I don't eat a lot of meat. Yeah, I'm okay with a little bit of meat too. <laughs> Pause. I would hope so. See, they be getting me tight when the aguacate got like black stuff in there. Yeah. I you know, figured I, you were like that. So be, I took the, the ones with I, the I'd be stuff. iffy, but I still eat it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it tastes good. Like, you ever eat an aguacate and it just tastes funny? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, do you keep eating it or you just push it to the side? Yeah, I push it to the side. Okay. I was going to ask you if you're one of those people. That um. Yo, que yo soy enferma con el vinagre, and this shit reminds me of. Oh, vinegar. that's vinegar. No. Oh, I was about to say. Oh, you, we don't even got salad, bro. No. We trash. No estamos en dieta, so. La dieta para después de sangre. Mmm. Si quiere ajo. We're doing another ASMR. What does that mean? Oh, this is different. Like, isn't it usually like, like more greenish? Oh, it depends. Yeah, what kind of ajo they use. Mmm. Cheers. I keep saying facts. Cheers. So do you? Do you? I think I've asked this before. Cause I didn't wait for you to finish to eat. S A M R. No, do you wait? Do you wait for, till everybody has their food on Thanksgiving? No, me and my cousin be the first one in line. Cause we be like, what the hell? Like, why we gotta wait so long? Cause we gotta wait for the. Siempre la familia que trae el plato más importante to be the last one to arrive. No, no. Nah. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat my food without the lasagna, let's say. <laughs> and that'd be the last person to come in. So we gotta wait for them. Then for them to settle down. Then to do the prayers. And then to eat. So me and my cousin be the first one in line. So after we got in line and we got that food. No. I start eating. I just keep eating. I'm not even breathing. <laughs> Do you swallow your food before you take your next bite? <laughs> you can see that I didn't. <laughs> I just kept putting more and more in my mouth. Hey, you. Depende, depende. I was obviously thirsty. Um, I keep trying to ask you a question, but I, I keep asking you something else. So... My question is, do you get, like, when when you're eating, like, I cannot say certain words around you or set that by your appetite? Oh, no. Mm-mm. Like, I could say anything and you just, like, it doesn't matter? Yeah. So, like, like if I say miela and fart no. and throw up? Unless I don't see the actual throw up, okay. I'm going to continue eating. <laughs> 
I got a weak stomach, but like when I smell and see mm-hmm. stuff, not when hearing. Mm-hmm. I agree. You ever? Uh... Do you know how to cook? Me? Yeah, I'm not a cook. What's that shit? To defend yourself or like actually like a meal? No, I know how to cook. Okay. I know how to make meals. I used to do. I think I mentioned it before. Oh, yeah, in school, right? Not in school. Not in school time, but I used to do the fresh food, or mm-hmm. health fresh, some shit. Health fresh is a Medicaid, but yeah, <laughs> I know exactly what you're health talking fresh, about. Health fresh, that's a... Que te lo mandan, entonces they tell you how to cook it kind of... Well, the ingredients in, and all proportion, right? yeah. Y eso no sale más caro. Um, okay, you know, like, actually, like, let's say, doing the research and, like, measuring, like... Well, in college, it's different because the space is really limited. So you kind of need that out the way kind Well, of I didn't do it in college. I did it at home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, this shit busting right now. <laughs> mm. So it's lit. Everything comes pre packaged and pre portioned. What if I talk in like a piece of comida just fall, falls into your plate? Will you keep eating? If it's like a rice, I don't care. <laughs> if it's like chewed up meat, I wouldn't. <laughs> it'll make up in my mouth. So I, I don't violate you. And yeah, we got the beans right here too. <laughs> so it comes pre portioned. Well, the ingredients, whatever it is, just tells you the instructions. And it's fairly simple. The deal, you get deals. So it's like you get three meals for like, for the three weeks, whatever, for a certain amount. And you get to pick uh, what meal you want delivered. And like, that's the only like part. That's kind of iffy for me because it's like sometimes they have like just straight up whack shit. <laughs> and then sometimes they have really good stuff. But well, something you don't eat maybe, then you would have to be like, fuck, mm-hmm. kind of pass it on, right? Or you have to like improvise a little bit. And then it, it becomes overwhelming because they just start sending you a whole bunch of like food. I haven't even cooked the one for my Exactly. <laughs> and you end up like leaving it in the nevera and you probably go buy something or somebody brings you food and then you don't end up cooking that and that shit gets spoiled. So mm. you, you just start spending money and Is more it like money. a membership type of thing? Mm-hmm. Or do you yeah. do it per meal? Not like a membership. Okay. Where you pay you pay for whatever and then from your thing you know, every time. I was thinking of, of doing that though, right? But like with beer. With beer? Yeah, like they'll send me like, not really exotic beers, but like a different amount of beer. Like you kind of tell them what kind of beers you're into. Like it, it, whether it's IPA, lagers, it, okay. uh, you know, ciders or lo que sea. It demandan like four a month or every two weeks. I think that's fine because that, that's not going to expire mm-hmm. like soon. Does, does beer even expire? Right into my tummy. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? What? It's so mind, like... Mind-blowing? Yes. What? And I knew this before, but... Since I just got back from DR, I want it... And I have, like, a... A fresher taste in my mouth of, like, the Presidente out there... Mm-hmm. I wanted to try the Presidente here. Obviously, I know they don't taste the same. Mm-hmm. But that's because I've drank mm-hmm. beers there before. But since I just got back not too long ago, I'm like, let me see if it's really true or it was just me. Llevándome de la gente o lo que sea. Bro. The Presidentes here are what? Like, it just tastes like I bought it and I sat there and I drank it. Mm-hmm. And I forsaw. But it's not because it was a good beer. But you always, did you always drink it for sale? No, eh? Um, I mean, because, no, you, you but came, I don't... You came back bougie. No, it's not my choice of beer here, because I know it's it's not a good beer here. <laughs> it's not a good Talk beer. Talk about bougie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, do you ever put the napkin you get in, in your lap? Mm-hmm, oh, I do. Okay. No, oh, but it's just crazy to me. And then the people in DR, they love the Coronas in the Modelo. I'm like... Uno está harto de beber eso en Nueva York. When I was younger, uh, my mom used to put it like that, like a babero. (laughs) (laughs) 
And I was probably like 12 or 11 years old. So it would be embarrassing, but at the same time, but okay, fuck it, no man's sushi. But then as I got older, like, I saw like men like do that, so I just started. Doing it. And man, it makes sense. It, like, it comes in clutch. Like, sometimes you'll be dropping a piece of food. And I don't drop it. Or like your hands get a little bit dirty, and you know, you do. Instead of wiping it on your pants, you just wipe it right there on the. On the shirt, on the cloth, whatever the shit is called. Why well, I could never name anything while sense, while we're recording. You've been hanging out with me too much. Se te está pegando lo mío. All right, this avocado. What do you think about? What do you think about this avocado? Excuse me. Is it one of those good avocados or this one like it tastes funny? Well, it's obviously not a ten because the black lines. <laughs> so it went down to what nine eight. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like any like vegetable or fruit, whatever you want to call an avocado or aguacate, shouldn't be black. Unless it's a blackberry. Are blackberries real? Or is that just a phone? No. Blueberry. Yeah, blackberry is real. You ate a blackberry before? Mm-hmm. What it tastes like? <laughs> I think it's sourish. I think. I know what it looks like. It looks like a raspberry, but blue. Or blackish. But... It doesn't taste bad. So what, what would you rate my home cooked? It's not as juicy. Yeah, you know how sometimes you bite into an aguacate, sale un chin de agua, like a little bit of water come out. Es que está verde. Like I'm weird. Some of my um fruits, I mm-hmm. like it bien verde, like the guayaba. No, yeah, for sure. I like it hard. I don't like when it's ya yeah, madurando. Mm-hmm. Like I don't like eating soft uh, fruit. Fruit, yeah. And I like eating them cold. You like eating cold? Like you like eating like outside? Like let's say it's room temp. Like you know, like not that frío mm-hmm. like outside. No, because some people they put like grapes on the freezer and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, now that's so do. Like in the nevera is fine, but I don't like grapes when they're sitting out. Like if you just leave grapes out in okay. your house, okay. Like you bought it today and they're still there tomorrow, and I go grab one. You don't like? Yeah, it? I don't okay. like that. Like an apple, maybe a pear, sure. But my grapes have to be cold. Do you put a uh, bread in the fridge or you leave it out? Um, it depends. If I know I'm gonna finish the bread within <laughs> three days, <laughs> it's staying outside. Okay. If I know, I might take like if it's a, those the sliced lo- loaf of bread, it's probably la nevera. Because when the house gets too hot, they you know they start developing some molds. Se daña, se daña. <laughs> se daña. So did you like my home cooked meal? <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> that was good. How do you feel? Like these are this is meals you get at home that your mom, your grandma cooks. Do you like to buy that kind of food often? I prefer ha- having it from my grandmother or my mom or whatever. And yeah. even like my grandmother, she started cooking um recently, like with like like la salt or no salt at all, so the rice. But it's still like it's just like knowing that it just came from like home home. Okay. And do you do you it makes eat? Makes me happy. Do you eat with the same like passion, like when you eat from somebody else's grandma, maybe or aunt or mom? The same type of food. Pass me the collard greens and cornbread, please. <laughs> but the same passion. No? Um, come on, see. Am I overthinking this question? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Look, grandma's food. Yeah. Because she's your grandma and you grew up oh, eating so that like food. like I'm used to it. Right, so that's the food same you're same used same to same. and you would consider that to be the best food, right mm-hmm. or wrong. Are, do you feel that, that same passion when you're eating her food? Do you feel that same way when you eat like somebody else's food? I'm not a picky eater where, like, I won't eat somebody else's mm-hmm. food because of pero. But it won't give you that same type of satisfaction. I'll be grateful, but I won't. I, like, I. Yeah, I've been trying to cut this piece of avocado <laughs> from that. That shit is just going to, like, fling <laughs> over here. So. Porque tú comes de todo el mundo. No. And we spoke about that. <laughs> yeah, like, me, it, it depends también. But, like, look, think about it. Like, we, we eat from every, like, you know, not every, but, like, a lot of restaurants. Mm-hmm. And little do we know what the kitchen looks like. Mm-hmm. 
Sorry if they're reusing the oil. They're, the mm-hmm. meat. The cooks. They be, Bro, they be in sweating and they be like, yeah. Yo. And then it'll be fun. Working we, in the restaurant industry would have you, like, questioning a lot of shit. Yeah. Yo no puedo, mami gente. Yo me comí cuatro mm. tacos antes de esto. Yo no dejo I nada, want, bro. I need to go visit a Mexican household for Thanksgiving. Mm, yo no puedo dejar ni un granito. I can't leave a piece of rice or nothing, bro. You laughing, but I'm dead ass. You want more? Nah. When you eat, I'm taking your uh, servilleta. When you eat your grandma's or your mom's food, do you do you leave food on the plate? Depending on food or like if I'm... Like, that shit grinds my gears. One, because I know you can finish that. That fits in your stomach. Bro. One, right? Bro. Two, it's like, just finish it. You know what I'm saying? Para la satisfacción de, de, de Jose, pero voy a comer. Yeah, and don't, and don't, like, I hate that too. Like, when people se lo quiere comer, they want to eat it, but they want to be shy or front. Like, I'm oh, not shy. I'm so... I ate four tacos before I this. I don't give a Fuck, son. And I got a lot more to eat after this. Like, all, all the bones. You like eat chewing bones? I used to bite into that and eat the... Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you about to... Fucking, uh... Let me see you eat a bone. My, my mom... The inside? She loves crushing on bones. She literally... <laughs> My mom, hey yo, is gonna sound wrong. She be, she be sucking the life out of out these of the bones. bones. Like, I don't, I don't understand I how you understand. could bite into bones, suck the juice, and they turn like you, you know how when people eat sunflower seeds. Oh yeah, yeah. And they just go like that <laughs> on the shells and shit. That's exactly how the fucking bones. So it's cool. Let her, let her enjoy her bones, whatever. But my dad be getting me tight. Because he be leaving fucking trails of rice on the plate. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you like damn, pal, you a grown-ass man. Eat your food. <laughs> like, eat the whole thing. Don't leave a granito. Don't leave a piece of rice. Bueno, yo dejé par de grano, eh? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I have to... I have to. I don't know if it's the OCD in me. I have to leave that plate empty. Right? Even if you're full. Even if I'm full. Sometimes I force myself. Or, like, I will... Save it for later or put it away. Like I can't, I can't. I got the, I can't throw out food. I had this bad habit. Can yo? I do that with the tacos too when I order in. Like I'll order four mm-hmm. and I'll eat one, and I'll like take a nap or do something and then go eat another one. Pero que haciendo uno engorda loco. Nah, you you already spend your money. You were you were gonna eat it. The, the you bought it for the goal of you eating it all. So, even if you can't eat it all in one sitting... All right, after the show, I'm going to finish the granos I left, all right? Sa- yeah. <laughs> save it for later. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I eat that shit. Even, like, when I go in a restaurant, like... You eat it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to leave, with, like, a piece of noodle or a piece of penne pasta or, or a piece of rice or chicken. Like, I'm going to eat it or I'm, it's going home with me so I can eat it later. Like, si no me cabe mal. You feel me? I feel you. <laughs> I should have I should have not ate before we started this. No, nah, it's cool. Like <laughs> girls, girls do that on the regular. Why? Because we're just, shy. That's what you think. I feel like part of it is, <laughs> I don't want to seem like, you know, you guys don't want to seem a certain way. So you're not gonna eat the whole thing, knowing y'all want to eat the whole thing. Bueno, yo que no cabe mine. I'm trying to make room for. For this, what's this? What you got? What's that over there? Hey. Is it Thursday? It's not even Thursday yet. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. That's some uh, champagne slash prosecco. We pop champagne. Oh. oh, we pop champagne. <laughs> you, you remember, <laughs> start, you remember listening to that song? Yeah. And how high you would get? And not even know what a champagne bottle looked like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do the honors. I don't even know how to open a champagne bottle. We're about to find out today, sir. It's my phone. I didn't even have my, my phone blended in with the table. Hey. <clears throat> All right. So do I, do I, do I, what am I doing? Pop All right. Champagne, no. I see the little dots here, so I Pop know how to follow instructions. No. They tell you to rip that off right here. Oh, but the whole thing came off. It was just supposed to be a strip, but it's all right. It's okay. All right. I don't want to. Oh. Bitch. Now, what I do now, I don't want to pop anybody in the eye. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Bueno. <laughs> <laughs> Bueno. 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 B
follow instructions. Uh, you really never opened a champagne bottle before? No. Because I, I don't. I'm scared now. You trusted the wrong mofo. Esperate, esperate, esperate. <laughs> Is it like no, that? No, 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 no. Take out the gold thing first. This gold thing? Yeah. And now, you know, <laughs> people, they go like that or just before we, or you could, hi, hi, hi. Fucking thumb hurt already. That or you could just go like that, but I, just, nah, I want it to look cool, you know I what know, I'm saying? So do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh, <shit. Hey. laughs> nice. I'm gonna pop somebody out right now. Yeah, and I'll use the I know door. how to pour. I know how to pour. Ooh, look at, look at the smoke you sir. That's cool. All right. You want to hold my glass or I got to do my own? Don't hold it, please. I think people, they, they smell wine. They do the whole... And then they... You've tasted this one before? Not that brand, but I've tasted Prosecco. <laughs> Share my time. I do a lot of drinks with Prosecco. Cheers you could do to that. my Camelot and happy San Giving. Happy San Giving. Okay. Doesn't okay. taste bad. You're not a fan of OJ, right? No. It reminds me of um, apple cider. Marshmallow. Okay. Yeah. So, like with this, you can make like mimosas and just add OJ. You can make different drinks. Mm -hmm. What you prefer, mimosa or a sangria? What do I prefer? What or what? A mimosa or a sangria? Oh, okay. I think you said mimosa. <laughs> uh, mimosa. Hey. So, so, my mimosa. It um, depends on the occasion. Like, if it's in the morning, una mimosa. Any other time, probably uh, sangria. I don't, I, White I, I, or red? Uh, wine. And then, yeah, sangria. I think I, uh, the... You've always had red? No, I don't really like the sangria. You don't like sangria? I'd rather go mimosas. Mimosa. 100. But that's OJ. It just, the sangria, I don't, it oh, just... Yeah. But it's not like I enjoy my mimosa, but I just rather, because there's yeah. always the two options, so I'd rather a mimosa than a sangria. So, um, what is it about the sangria that you don't? I don't know. I f the fruits inside. It gives me that. You see that face I'm making. Yeah. That's 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 what it makes me do when I when I taste the sangria. And I was gonna ask you Bloody Mary, but you already had the Mary Ellen Chiladas and. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't on the menu today. <laughs> <laughs> so you like this? Yeah. This this is not bad. See, I, I can tolerate this. You know what I'm saying? know what you're saying. Alright, so in the spirit of San giving. Yes, yes, yes. What are, what are you grateful for, my dear? What are you grateful for in general? And then what are you grateful for this year? In general. Mm-hmm. A roof over my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, a job. Cool friends. And cool friends, okay. This year, for my family to still be around after the hard year we've had, Excuse or how me. it escalated from 2020 to 2021. Because I can believe we're going to be in 2022. Mm -hmm. And me got my lounge. Uh, excuse me. You see how he feels? <laughs> That's how a you burp, feel? A burp to that. <laughs> All right. For me, you know, overall, similar the similar things to you for... Roof over the head, family, you know. I won't, I'm not going to say my my partner, my significant other, because she's family. She's family. She's got family. Her, so, got um, yeah, the job, a job, my, my podcast, our podcast. <laughs> that always happens. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's yeah. technically my podcast, and then it's your podcast. Yeah, like when you, when you, podcast. yeah, when you say, when you talk to somebody, like, oh, yeah, I have a podcast. Mm -hmm. You don't say we, because I'm not no, there. No, no, yeah. Like, yeah. Who the fuck is we? But, yeah. <laughs> so you know, for the podcast, for for friendship, you know. Yes, yes. And this year, yeah, I'm happy. You know, I'm grateful that you know we've some of us have survived the uh, you know the whole COVID nineteen pandemic thing. COVID twenty. COVID. <laughs> COVID twenty. <laughs> the quarantine. Everything. 
So yeah, I'm just grateful and blessed, you know. Stay positive all the time. And yeah. Awesome. All right. All right. That's another cheers That's to that. Another cheers for Can't sure. believe I actually like this. I, hey. I'm like, she wasted her time getting this because I'm not gonna drink it, but I I am gonna drink it. Underestimating me once again. Ahorita te hago yo un Bloody Mary. Hey, what's, what's the worst food you could... Oh, first, let me ask you. Have you gone... like you Let's say you celebrated a Thanksgiving in your house or a family member, and then whatever, whatever you ate, and you about to hang out with like your friend's house or some shit. Have, have you ever done that and been disappointed? Or do you eat purposefully in your house? Like, <laughs> so, you won't. so you won't have to deal with no, anybody else's food? Um, <laughs> Literally. Or if anything, I eat in my house. Or not because, yeah, I don't know what to expect in the other people's house. I don't know if there's going to be food. Mm-hmm. Whether they like me, there will be drinks. And I need to make sure there's food in my stomach for the drinking. Mm-hmm. Um, But no, I've been to like a handful of Friendsgiving after like Thanksgiving. But for the most part, like... I like doing things like when I was younger, like I'll go spend it with my family and then like go stay over at my grandma's house like when I was a child. Like I wouldn't even come back home. I would go stay there and just pretend like, you know, and then tomorrow, oh my God, let's talk about leftovers, leftovers, how they hit a lot better than the food the night before. Sometimes. No, most of the the time. time. (laughs) I sleep in, I wake up like 11 and 12 and I'll be like, yo, grandma, I'm hungry. And she reheats that and yo. All right, but let me ask you now. And don't front. Because there's leftovers. Sometimes there's a lot of leftovers. Do we throw some out? Are you eating that throughout the day? (laughs) Or you're eating that just once and you're eating something different? No, just once. (laughs) Like at 12. Because th- there's been times where I've celebrated Thanksgiving in my house. And then, se- no, no, no se queda comida. Se queda comida, not because the food is trash, but just because there's... A lot. There's, yes, there's a lot. So, like, I'll, I'll eat that for breakfast. <laughs> I'll end up eating that for lunch. And for dinner, before I go to bed, so I'll eat the same, same shit. So, the same thing? Like, the same rice, chicken? <laughs> or do you do chicken con una ensalada for breakfast? Possibly, rice depending. And- Okay. And then sometimes, let's say, like, you eat everything from yesterday, from the day before. You eat that, like, in the morning. But then there's no more of this. So then okay. there's... And then it just keeps winding down and down. No, I'll do I'll do it once a day, maybe for two, max three days. Pero three no, days? Pero, I, pero no... Yeah, I think by the, no. by the second day, the only thing that's left is, like, it's meat. Another. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, meat. meat. Yeah, and you meat start making, right. like, sandwiches and fucking platano <laughs> with kind of... absolutely true. <laughs> no, pero not diablo. Es un abuso. Y tú, para, tú aparece un rice chicken, ensalada de todo. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Not even... Cereal. But I'm exaggerating because... <laughs> no, nah, because, like, I'll, I'll wake up late, so I wouldn't eat breakfast. So I'll just end up eating that, like, that. the whole day, just end up eating that. Or twice. And you don't like pumpkin pie? You don't like apple pie? Don't even. So if, what's for dessert? If ice cream cake with the pavo. It's shaped like a pavo. Really? From Carville, yeah. Or like, you know, the, the, they make flan, but I don't like, I'm not really a flan really? guy. And then I, I don't know what else. Sometimes they have like rum, rum. I tried rum cake the other day. It's pretty, pretty fucking good. I got rum ice cream. Rum ice cream? Pretty good. From Tipsy Scoops? Yeah, Hayes and Hayes. Oh, from Hagen Dice? <laughs> oh, yeah, Hayes. Is Hagen, it Hayes? I don't know. Like, is it, Hayes, like no, the underwear? Hagen Dice? Hagen Dice, because Hayes is underwear. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hayes, they make underwear for for girls? No. They make. They make cansocillos for like men. Like panties, boxers like or grandma panties. For I don't think they make like cute panties. Oh, I don't know. But have you ever ate a. Uh, like pizza or burgers and wings, like for Thanksgiving? Or you've always had like arro, pollo? I think I've always turkey. had arro and pollo. All right, so what, my... what's your. F- huh? what? No, no, what's no, your no. I'm thinking like <laughs> this year, like I'm still trying to figure out what my family's gonna do. I'm like, this might be the only year that I <laughs> I might have pizza and shit because I don't know if we're fucking doing something. <laughs> so what, what's your favorite thing? Like, what, what are you most excited for when Thanksgiving comes around? Just. Hanging out with my cousins, like, like. I'm saying as food wise, oh, food but wise. you're excited okay. to hang out with yeah, your cousins. Like, so sweet. Are yeah. they as excited? To I, I hang hope they out are. With you? I hope they are. Shit. Um, 
for food wise ensalada de codito las... with, with tuna inside oh. or just the codito and the pimiento y vaina así either or I either or? Yeah. Or. I haven't had a, making it I haven't had a tuna that's, that's, is that a tuna salad yeah, or it's tuna salad yeah. <laughs> I just bet. Good thing there was no food Spend there. It. Or it's tuna salad when it's like mostly tuna. I keep spinning. What the fuck? I ain't seen the fucking. And then <laughs> and when it's out your cup. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then it's mostly tuna, and then it's like pimienta. Is the oh, I'm, pimienta, oh, I'm making no, shit no, up. Pimienta, pimienta, see, pimienta is also pepper, but I, mm-hmm. I know what you mean, like the ajo and shit. Or is that just oh. tuna? Great question. <laughs> I think that's just tuna. That's just tuna. Yeah, and, and I think a tuna add... salad is with the coditos. I think so. I think so. Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds about right. But that lasagna. Lasagna always clutch. Patele be good. What gets me mad about the lasagna, though, sorry to cut you off, is that they never make enough lasagna. Yeah, that shit. To never. be a leftover. No. Like, lasagna is never a leftover. <laughs> and you better be one of the first ones to grab. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> but go. How about your uh, patelitos? Do you like them with raisins or without? <laughs> Don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> Don't disrespect me like hey, that. I don't know. I guess I would ask if, a if you If you pull up to my Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, feast, family celebration, whatever, any day, my birthday party, my bar mitzvah, lo que sea, <laughs> with fucking patelitos with raisins inside, Adi, <laughs> you, better, you better erase my number, delete my number, don't ever contact me. Yo, and they be catching you by surprise. Yes. Like... They make the little small ones. But with, with olives? Mmm, that shit get me so tight. Like, like, you know, sometimes they make the carne. Like, they, they'll put, like, many olives, which is fine. To give it the sazon, but then don't put it inside. Don't put it inside my pot. <laughs> exactly, bro. Do you know how to make patelitos? Yeah, I, I think okay. so. Okay. You, 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 you. The disc? The little disc? Well, what is that even called? A f- no, it's called like that. It's like called disc. a disc? Yeah. And like then, the dough is a disc, yeah, dough, so you disc on, dough, and then they come in like layers mm-hmm. with paper to separate them. They come in the freezer, so you gotta defreeze. You it. gotta defrost them. <laughs> <laughs> defreeze. It might be a word. Defreeze hey, them. Something I gotta Google later. And then you put what whatever you're gonna put in the middle. Yeah, and then just. Fry and then you do. You gotta do the fork thing. Yeah, that's my that's favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> and then you fry. You fry and you go. So let me ask you: Are you, are you like a fast food restaurant worker where you, you're you're Stingy with the stuff you put inside the patelitos, or you filling that bad boy up? I wonder if I'm taking that to work, and um, you know that I'm. That's my. ¿Cómo que se llama? <laughs> Did I spit this time? <laughs> like the fucking oh. acid or some shit just went inside my eye. That was weird. There you go. Right. <laughs> and then, like if it's for um, tú sabes, the potluck. The potluck. Yeah, oh, you're gonna be, be stingy. stingy. Damn. Yeah, this is my family, my Don't invite Marielle <laughs> to your friends giving this year, guys. Then I'm gonna put extra. But I say that's overwhelming. So much meat or so much cheese. Oh no, you can, you can like, never put too much cheese. No, because I like the I like the actual dough. I like the okay. fried dough. I had a patelito queso. There was a one of our friends in college. Uh, she used to make patelitos, and it was cool. But she every time she made patelitos, it would always be with fucking queso blanco and salami. Mm. <laughs> I like guess good, but uh, you want to either queso <laughs> or meat. No, nah, like let me let me get chicken or beef or melted cheese because nah, the I queso like frito cheese. don't don't melt, so oh. it would it would be just hot. She used that one. She used uh, yeah. the one de frey. Y ahora, do you like the yellow cheese or the white cheese? Not the frey, but yellow cheese or white cheese for the patelito. Okay, like queso de papa or like mozzarella cheese. Like that's what you're referring to as white I cheese. Think it's que- I think it's queso de papa and then like mozzarella. Because uh, it's definitely it does, not the frying one. It, does, it doesn't <laughs> matter to me, to okay. be honest. I like I like cheese. But it has to be like, I, I have to taste, I can't taste more whatever dough, patelito than whatever's inside. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, it's not a fucking yaniqueque. Or empan- you know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. Like the, the, the yani queque tienen de todo y la empanada. <laughs> you got that reference? No? <laughs> no, no, I did, I did. I'm trying to figure out what this is called. 
I think that's the Yanni Keke, the, the, the round one. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what I was trying to picture in my head. I love that. Or uh, like some no, people, they patelito. yeah, but sometimes they intertwine it too. Like that could be an empanada as well. Okay. But yeah, like if I if I wanted something empty, like I would just get get that. I would get well, exactly what you did. But if I want something relleno, like give me that shit. You like biggie taki? Oh. Chicken or beef? Chicken. Beef. Con lo huevo. Do huevo. Y la y, huevo. Y repollo. Tú comes huevo. Mucho huevo. Hey, <laughs> I said huevo. Nigga said huevo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what H about. And what's the other one? With chimichurri, G? huh? With G, huevo. Oh, huevo. With G and a V. Huevo, oh. H and a V. Okay. Do you like chimichurri? Chimichu? I love chimichurri. You have, you've had a chimichanga before? I don't think I've had a chimichanga. Oh, what's that? It's like a Mexican food. Or dish like tacos. I don't know. I might be racist, mm. but I think it's it's like a what's what's that movie? A uh, sausage fest. She was a chimichanga, the girl that she liked. The, I'm horrible with movie references. Oh, you know, it was like the anime yeah, with the yeah, hot dog yeah, yeah. and buns. I know. I've seen the. Um, tu sabe, but not the. Tu sabe. All right, what the so, fuck that means? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you excited? I I saw the previews, not the movie. That's what that means. Nah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you excited about? Uh, what I be excited? Uh. Are you la- gonna bring me leftovers from your house? The lasagna, of course. I, you're gonna come. Uh, yeah, lasagna. Yeah. So th- they be making, they make white rice sometimes with guandules, and then they'll have also like moro. De guandule. No, nah, de habichuela. De guandule, habichuela negra, okay. or arroz con maíz. Like it be, it be different. Okay. Like what's your, what's your favorite type of rice? Moro de guandule. Moro de guandule, you like yeah, that? Yeah, it's kind of yellow, and then it has the okay. small guandule. I like my moro de habichuela negra. I okay. like, I like that's the, the I think dark that's one. the best rice. Okay. Hands down. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I like the pollo alo. I like pollo alo. The skin. Yeah, there's something about that skin. And then the the ajo. I'm keeping that ajo. Yeah, you can have the ajo. <laughs> and then, yeah, just okay. don't throw none of that food away. No, no, no. <laughs> if you don't want it no more, I'm going to come back and get it. Okay. That's all? <laughs> Mm-hmm. My daily wear. Where can the leftovers <laughs> find you? They can find me at something about Marielle on Instagram and Twitter. Eh, Jose. Look at the Marielle. <laughs> The what? The barrettes? <laughs> the Marielle enchiladas. No, nah, I don't want that. I don't want those to find me. Oh, but you guys can catch me at. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Eso nunca falla. Um, what percent of alcohol is in this, <laughs> this champagne? Uh, I didn't even finish it. <laughs> you guys can catch me at. Mm. Jose underscore that's M M M J O S E underscore on Instagram. You guys can also catch us at the Super Four Bros on Instagram and YouTube. TheFullShot.com, Patreon.com slash yep, yep. If we reach 20 Patreons, we're going to donate the money for November and December. We still haven't picked the cause yet. Should yeah. we pick the cause? We should pick the cause. Let's pick the cause. Uh, saving animals. Yes. Let's let's yeah. do that to a cause. Elephants. Who, what, uh, what, um, that what animals that, that are in danger? Yeah, All right. Yeah. So let's do the research on that. And yeah, we're going to donate. To that specific group of species, you know, we're going to help. Even if it's just a little bit, you know, it's better than nothing, right? Right, right, right. So if you guys want to help too, just go to patreon.com slash Uh thefullshop.com. And yeah, happy sun giving. Thank you guys for watching. Stay Hope safe. you guys enjoy. And we see you guys next time. And happy White Friday. Mm-hmm.